Hello and welcome to 2-Minute Design, I'm Dej and today we're going to create a seamless pattern out of a texture in Photoshop. I've downloaded this photo of a concrete texture and opened it in Photoshop. Let's go to Filter, Other, Offset. Now let me show you what this does. I'm going to set this to background and whenever I move this slider, the texture moves horizontally. And whenever I move this slider, the texture moves vertically. Now Photoshop needs to fill the empty area and because I set this to background, it just filled it with gray, which is the background color. If I set it to repeat edge pixels, then Photoshop will simply repeat each pixel on the edge of the texture to fill the empty area. But if I click wrap around, look what happens. The part of the texture that I moved outside the canvas to the right will reappear on the left side and whatever I moved out of the canvas from the top will reappear from the bottom. Let's hit OK. And now as you can see, what appeared from the bottom and from the left side doesn't really match with the edge of the texture, which is normal. This texture is not seamless. We're gonna make it seamless. Remember? No? So let's activate the rectangular marquee tool. Make sure the first button is activated here in the options bar. Set the feather to zero pixels and the style to normal and simply click and drag over the horizontal edge to create a selection around it. Hold down the shift key and select the vertical edge as well. Now go to edit, content aware fill. And if you don't know how to use this feature, that's okay. I'm not gonna change anything for now. But I have created a tutorial on how to use this amazing feature. So go ahead and check it out. The link is in the description. Not now, let me finish the video. <laughs> so hit OK and press Ctrl or Command D to deselect. The edges are gone. Now activate the Spot Healing Brush tool. Set the mode to normal, the type to content aware, check sample all layers and set the angle to zero and then paint over the areas of the texture that are too dark or too bright because if you leave these spots they will be repeated when you create the pattern and it will look weird. When you finish go to edit define pattern, give it a name and create a new document. In the Layers panel, click this button and choose Pattern. Click this drop-down menu and make sure the pattern is selected. I'm gonna scale it down a little bit. And look at that, the pattern is totally seamless. You can even drag it around as much as you want. The texture has no edge. It just never ends. It never ends! <laughs> it never ends! 